Hello. Today I want to show you a simple way of uh, adjustment of uh, back front focus in cameras Contax uh, G2. Uh, these cameras, uh, like G1, have a series menu that allows to change some settings in camera and uh, must uh, uh, interesting uh, setting it is uh, back and front adjustment uh, this camera have uh, two systems uh, passive fast autofocus and uh, active infrared autofocus uh, i will show you how to adjust uh, passive autofocus because uh, usually problem exactly in passive autofocus system when camera uh, uh, miss uh, object of focusing uh, when camera can't focus at all on uh, distances uh, closer than three meters it is uh, uh, faded away infrared emitter in uh, active autofocus system so it is different uh, problem and uh, we will speak uh, today about exactly passive autofocus uh, so this context uh, g2 came to me uh, with complaint of owner that uh, it's uh, miss focus it's uh, focusing behind the object uh, and uh, I asked him uh, several questions about uh, what exactly happened with what lens ask him to measure distances on different uh, focus distances and uh, uh, real distances and focus to compare them how they misalign uh, so we was agreed that it is exactly this, uh, this problem so it can be adjustment uh, in the right way that actually very difficult and uh, the simple way simple way I discovered uh, when I adjusted this camera last time uh, when I was not able to adjust it on one distance because uh, it was out of uh, range that allows to adjust after focus and in series uh, manual says that if uh, you get out of range then you should to change uh, entire uh, after focus assembly passive after focus assembly it, it is separate from viewfinder and infrared after focus but anyway you, you should to take somewhere uh, this assembly and it is impossible so it is not our case <coughs> so let i show you uh, series manual first uh, series manual have have this uh, instruction about uh, settings of uh, autofocus uh, what uh, write in this uh, series manual it have uh, instruction how to uh, came in in uh, settings of uh, adjustment and how exactly you should uh, proceed uh, the adjustment what distances you should use and uh, what uh, uh, what exactly settings you should do uh, with your camera to make everything uh, right so this camera have uh, uh, better to say uh, this uh, tool have uh, four distances for adjustment uh, even if you have uh, misaligned uh, in infinity anyway you 
uh, need to uh, adjust only these four distances and this will affect uh, infinity too. Uh, it have uh, half meter, one meter, two meters and 2.95 meters, not three meters, but 2.95 meters, exactly 2.95, not three meters. Not three because uh, for each focus distance, this camera have uh, on uh, CPU information about what value should be uh, on exactly these distances. So if you will do uh, these measurements on three meters, you will uh, fail to adjust focus on three meters and it will be affected infinity too. So you should do exactly what I show you. So uh, it is how it should be all adjustment and it is very difficult because uh, you should first take uh, information about uh, distance in hex after this converted into uh, bytes uh, one and zero uh, no in hex uh, from hex for uh, decimal uh, and uh, after this convert back and it is uh, not very simple I made uh, my uh, excel file for this uh, it have and passive and active IF uh, charts. Uh, you need to measure uh, the values and uh, write in in table uh, and start to calculate uh, values and uh, write them in the camera. And this is uh, take a lot of time. So now I show you more simple way. Uh, now I already uh, set up um, camera on one meter and uh, set up uh, chart to measure distance. So I will show you that it is exactly one meter. exactly one meter not 99 and five not 105 exactly one meter so uh, how to uh, came in uh, adjustment menu service menu uh, at first you, sh you should uh, open back door uh, I think I can remove it because it will be more easy to operate with camera without this door. After this, you need to, uh, in the same time, push on the rewind button. Uh, first, turn on your camera. After this, push on rewind button and push on release button. Again. And you in service menu. Uh, it's now show that you in service menu and uh, she's is blinking with uh, first setting. Uh, what we need? We need to Ah, I will show you uh, at first what, uh, how, how it should be in right way. Uh, in right way, you should uh, list on 1A. 1A. It is for uh, passive IF. And uh, look on these uh, numbers. You see that it is not static. It is always changed. So it is why you never will be able to adjust your camera perfectly because even this values is not static. So uh, if you will want to adjust in right way this camera, don't try to make it perfect. It is uh, pointless. 
So, and for uh, infrared, next, 1B. And this is for infrared. So, we don't need all this. We need to move to our uh, distance. Now we have one meter. So, uh, so uh, one meter. It is one meter. It is uh, chart number 12. So we need to change to number 12. Ah, no, we, we need to sh uh, change to number 12, not in this mode. In this camera has several modes. Uh, I forgot to uh, explain you how exactly you should uh, uh, set your camera before you get in service menu. At first you sh uh, should to change uh, driver mode to single. You need to uh, turn off expert compensation and uh, turn bracketing to the zero. Uh, and uh, speed anyway, yeah, I think you can use any speed, but uh, let it be auto. Uh, and uh, this camera have uh, three uh, mods. Uh, these mods can be switched by uh, bracketing. Uh, this is uh, start position zero. It is a position when where you can uh, read values. We need this only for uh, A1 and uh, one A and one B to write uh, our uh, values in table uh, and. Uh, calculate uh, values that we need to use in future, but we will not do this because it is uh, complicated and long. Uh, we need to switch to uh, last third uh, mode uh, by switching bracketing to the uh, plus one, uh, plus minus one. It have also half uh, plus minus but we need a uh, full stop uh, one uh, plus minus so in this menu now we can uh, check our uh, values we look uh, 11 12 30 and 40 uh, we not we need uh, 12 12 uh, have uh, number uh, 34 so, uh, on one meter, it is for one meter. So, uh, better to write it, to, uh, to be able to return everything what it was uh, before we uh, made some uh, mistakes. So, I just write what I have now, 34. Uh, ah. 34. Now, uh, we have 34, uh, and uh, I forgot to show you uh, how, what, what uh, distance this camera show now. Now this camera show a uh, distance uh, 0, 0.98 millimeter, meter. So it is not one, it should be exactly one because I uh, uh, set camera exactly on one meter distance. So it is show wrong distance, measure uh, wrong distance. So now we know what to do. We need to uh, get again in uh, series menu. And we already in uh, uh, editing mode. We need to switch to 12. It is for one meter. And we have uh, value 34. And we need to change this value. Uh, 
So how we need to change this value? To change uh, to to write uh, values, we need to switch uh, this lever to IEL. And now this value is uh, blinking. It means that we can uh, change it. Uh, we uh, will change it with will. So I now uh, will change it uh, in what direction? Let me see what I write in my notice. Mm. Uh, we will make it uh, about this, make it a little bit bigger. So after this, when we uh, done this, we need to uh, get off from uh, editing menu to uh, observing menu and change value to the zeros. And uh, we now see uh, zeros in this screen. And uh, how to write uh, our uh, values that we just uh, changed. Uh, just uh, push on the release button. Now you see uh, strokes. It is mean that uh, camera write in our new values and we can turn off our camera and look what it's show now. Uh, how you see, I change value in wrong direction. Now it's uh, show that it is uh, the distance is shorter. So we need to change values in opposite direction. So doing the same. Now uh, we still in uh, this uh, brigantic mode. We can leave it, don't change it. Uh, going to the 12, uh, change to IL, and make uh, this value less than it was, about 2D. So after this, uh, return to the on, return to the zeros, and pr press shutter button. Uh, now we're closer. Now it is only 99. So the, uh, again. Change to 12. Change to IL and make more calls about this. Right in. And check. One meter. So it is simple way how to adjust focus on these cameras. Uh, you don't need to adjust uh, uh, lenses uh, with washers uh, on the lens group uh, or, or in mounts in camera or in bayonet of uh, lenses and you need just uh, made uh, back and front focus in this camera so i am already done for one meter and now i need to done for half meter two meters and 2.95 and after this uh, camera will uh, focus uh, precisely on the objects so Use uh, this uh, simple way to adjust your cameras.